sitting in the sitting in a presentation or or not the internet back then, but uh, reading magazines in Michigan, reading out of your articles. Got to learn a few things, and uh, pretty excited to be here. This event's great. Um, I'm from Bemidji originally, and uh, they have a Let's Go Fishing event up there. And it's been uh, around for a few years. My dad actually, for the last couple of years, has taken their pontoon out and uh, got some anglers out up there. And it's just been a blast. You know, as, as a guide for the other anglers, he's uh, a little nervous about getting people out, catching walleyes in the pontoon, or whatever else. But it's not what it's about, it's about going fishing. And uh, they get out there, they catch perks, they catch rock bass, they catch northerns, and they're catching fish, and everybody's having fun. So if you're here, uh, interested in that, and it's, it's a great event, and it's going to be a lot of fun for all for all this. So, a uh, little bit about that. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, kind of what Al touched on, and on some soft plastics. Uh, we're kind of dealt with different uh, relationships this year. I'm sure you've all noticed how many people have been out fishing before. Anybody been out fishing? Yeah, in the province? Uh, it's nice. It's, it's in the air. And you know what? The walleye opener this year is a little later to start with, and we've had this warm spring. And so, typically we're all out there, we're buying our shiner minnow, we're buying heads, and we're going out through jigs that are in the new rigs. And one thing that usually happens in June is those fish start chasing those shiner minnows and they're spawning. And the, and the walleyes will spawn, or excuse me, the walleyes spawn, they spawn, the shiner spawn up in the shallows, the sands, the gravel, the sand grass, virgin cabbage weeds. That's where you're going to find a lot of fish. And they're not going to be tight to those structures like you are in a very typical opener, I don't think. We're going to have this little boiler. We're going to have fish scattered. And we're going to be chasing the shiners. Soft plastics. I like to use a spin cast rod. 6-6. Uh, six, six, generally, uh, no medium action. The fire lines. No stretch lines. The braided lines that you guys have been talking about. No stretch gives the ultimate feel. It really does. You can cast along waves, you don't have all the foils, and uh, you really get a good idea of what's going on at the end of the line, the business end, like I like to call it, for the jigger. Soft plastics, uh, Trigger X, Gulp Alive, I have a Gulp Alive here today. This is Emerald Shiner, that's what the Wawai is going to be chasing. Spot Tail Shiners, Emerald Shiners, that's it, right there. And uh, what's key, like Al said, if you're listening, and uh, I'm sure you all heard, when Al talks, you listen. And, on a jig, plastics, you're not going to fish the same as you would for the jig like Ted talked about. You're going to want to either throw it out behind the boat, get out of ways, drift, keep it on the bottom. That's the key. The sand grass, cabbage that cover the Ted talked about, the cabbage was blown up. You want to find the corners, the cups, little breaks in the leaves for sure to grow. That's where those ambush points are. That's where the fish are. Now, I'm not a bass fisher. This is similar to bass fishing. You're covering a lot of water, you're covering areas, you're doing a lot of casting, a lot of trolling. It's been trolling like Alex talked about. You're going faster than you would with just drifting with a jig. The important thing is using plastics. Heavier jig, heavier jig, not a super light jig, because you want to be able to get it out there. You need to be able to rig it, or rip it. And what Alex talked about, I'm going to try to show you. I want to put the mic on for a second. Thank you. First of all, a jig. This happens to be a Northland uh, rigging bag. Something I found that worked very good last year. If you can look on here, you see there's a couple little hooks. If you've tried to use just a twister tail or any kind of plastic, you'll find that when you get it with the bites, the fish will pull that loose. So you keep ripping them and they're, you know, they're coming off and you're losing the plastic. So with these little hooks, what these do is you can hook it on there just like you would a jig with a regular minnow. Swim it up there, push it up there, get it up the shank. And when it gets to that level, those hooks right there, those hooks, push it over and squeeze and then straighten it out. And now what's going to happen is every fish you catch, every bite you catch, it might tear up the, the gulp a little bit, but it's not going to pull that off there. I'm yanking on it pretty good, it's not going anywhere. It's stuck. So what happens is when you replace these, it's not because they're coming off the hook, it's because the fish have literally torn it in half. So what you want to do with these is, uh, you know, you cover an area out here. You're the water, I'm in the boat. I'm going to cast out. I'm going to put it out there, I'm not going to really cast. You're going to get it out there, you're going to cast out, cover the water. 30, 40, you know, we don't have to go a long ways at all. You can pinch it, you can't feel away from the boat. The key is, maybe hit the bottom once, but after that, you're swimming it, you're jigging it back. So after I cast out my jig, I throw it out, I cast it, and as I'm reeling, I'm popping it, the hell is popping off of the jig, swimming it, get the fake plastic dirt left and right, up and down, it's moving. So when the fish are chasing it, or maybe they're not, they just see it go by, it's a, it's a reaction. Right? So stand there, swimming in the water, under their little cover, and 
in the weeds, a couple of little shine real light, and it comes a flash of salt and light, and it's dipped in the dark, and it's just a, they just inhale it. And it's an instant jerk. Anybody like to set the hook? Like to set the hook? That's the best part about fishing, right? So when you're out there in the reel and you get that pop so quick, boom, it's instant hook set. And with no stretch line, the bite's on right away. And you know what? This works great for walleye fishing. What it really does, especially this kind of thing, you're going to be able to do some of But uh, through guiding this summer, there wasn't a better tactic than goalie for catching every kind of species of fish in that lake on this right here. Minnows work great, the rigging works great, casting, drifting, trolling, bubble live, trigger X, and a good jig, we'll put fish in.